Me, 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 me. Hey, what's going on? My name is Bryce and I am a freelance videographer from Vancouver, BC. If you haven't been to my channel, I talk a lot about videography, filmmaking and uh, photography. I do a lot of like run and gun type stuff, you know, like a lot of handheld, a lot of gimbal work. I don't do a whole lot of studio setups anymore. I've done that before in the past, but most of my work has been like social media content creation, you know, creating Instagram reels, TikToks, shorts, all that stuff. Nothing too high production for so long. I've been trying to figure out a good system for my camera. I like when things are fast. I like when things are just easy to use. Most of all, I really don't like using tools. Now, don't get me wrong. I really enjoy using this little small rig tool. As you can see, it is broken. This one has broken and this little guy. And that's just from general use. It's a pain in the butt, I'm not gonna lie. I use this thing pretty often. I would say I use the flathead a lot because I need to screw on like tripod plates and all that stuff. I haven't really found a good system that has allowed me to have like a handheld rig and something that I can go from handheld to like a tripod to a gimbal super easily until now. Before we get to that though, are you subscribed? If you aren't, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out. Hit that like button also helps me out a lot. I feel like I've tried so many different ways to rig up my camera. Once I got my a7S III, I ended up getting a cage because I wanted to take video more seriously. The nice thing about a cage is that it not only protects your camera, but it also provides you with a lot of little quarter inch holes and things that you can use to kind of mount uh, monitors, handles, microphones, stuff like that onto it. So if you take a look at my camera, you know, I have the Zoom H1N right there. Got a little magic arm connecting to the camera and then it got a monitor on there. I really like the cage system and I know that it adds a little bit of weight and size to the camera, but I've been hitting the gym, so I can, I can handle it, kind of. So this cage is from Magic Rig and it actually came with a handle and I'm not gonna lie, it's actually a pretty good handle. It's got like a nice, solid, big grip. It fit, fits my hands really nicely. It's got tons of little mounts. The one thing that I really liked about this one is that it has those RE mounting th little screws things. Because I noticed that after using it for a long time, it'll start to twist a little bit, especially if you're using, especially if you're using something like this that has like a cold shoe mount. I got this a while ago and I hate it so much. It's cold, it doesn't have any grooves. It's really uncomfortable after a while. It's got sharp edges. These little twist things, man, they suck. Like, cause they just, they burn your fingers when you're trying to like tighten it. And even when you tighten it, it's not fully tightened on there and it can still come loose, it can still twist. So fast forward and I used this one for a little bit. And what I like about this guy is that you can put it on top as a top handle, but you can also put it on the side, like a side handle and hold it like this. And it's actually quite comfortable, you know, especially if you're doing handheld stuff, it's really, really comfortable to have a wide grip and hold your camera like that. It feels a lot more ergonomic. I ended up having to get a monitor mount. So I ended up getting this monitor mount and this is also a cold shoe monitor mount. And the way that you can tighten this thing is it has these little holes. So you're not using your fingers as much anymore. This is why I've broken so many of those little tools because you know, you gotta use these uh, Allen wrenches and use it to tighten. You know, I've done it so many times that I've broken so many of these things and also two of the tools on the small rig tool. Setting up the camera like that just took forever for some reason. Like sometimes I would forget the little cold shoe thing. You know, I have it on this handle right now, but I had to put this on the camera so that I could mount uh, the monitor properly. It was annoying. And especially if I wanted to switch from like vertical mode to horizontal, or if I wanted to do a top handle, I almost had to like make that decision before the shoot and then commit to it because Switching the setup took forever. Also, if I wanted to put it on a, on a gimbal, it was also very annoying. So this, these are all problems that you kind of have if you only have one camera. There was a couple things that I wanted to do. I wanted to get the Falcam system. It has these like quick release plates. It looks really cool. It looks really fast. Here in Canada, if I wanted to get the cage plus a side handle plus a top handle monitor mount, it would be like $400. It felt like a lot of money for something that could be easily fixed. My solution is NATO rails. And man, I love NATO rails. <laughs> like it's just such an easy, like affordable solution to making your setup so much faster. So essentially what I did was I bought a couple of these small rig universal low profile quick release NATO rails. And these ones that I got are the 70 millimeter ones. It's actually allowed me to be com almost completely toolless. There's a couple things that I need to do, but the nice thing is, is that I don't really need 
this small rig tool as much as I did before. I'll show you a few different setups that I have. So first of all, I have a NATO rail always attached to the very top of my cage. And so this one's perfect for attaching like a monitor mount. And then uh, this was the monitor mount that I actually ended up getting. And this one's cool because it has a NATO rail. It has the ability to twist and tilt. So this is like one out of two times where I need to use a tool. For a top handle situation, I put a NATO rail on top here because I didn't want to have to like take the monitor off the monitor mount and then screw it onto another monitor mount. And I just wanted something that was like quick and easy to switch. If you can see right here, I put a NATO rail. All I have to do is just take the monitor mount off um, and then put it on the NATO rail right here. The nice thing is, is that pretty much all cages have built-in NATO rails. This side handle actually comes with a little Allen wrench and it just basically magnetically goes in like just like that. And so basically what I want to show you is how quickly it is to set up So I actually forgot to mention, I always keep this little Ronin S2 plate on my camera at all times. I ended up getting this quick release plate also from SmallRig. I'm not sponsored by SmallRig, by the way. I just, I like their products and they're cheap. I can quickly go from handheld to tripod to gimbal. So yeah, let me just kind of show you what that looks like. The nice thing about this monitor mount too, because it's NATO rail, it can actually go on my side handle on my gimbal too. I can just take the monitor off, put it right on the side handle of my gimbal and it's ready to go. So yeah, I love that so much. It's so helpful. Um, one thing I would really recommend though is before you even do a shoot is to ask your client, what is this for? Is this only gonna be for Instagram? Is this only gonna be for social media? Is it only gonna be vertical content? Because if it's only gonna be vertical content, you can just prepare ahead of time. Just make sure that you're ready to go. These are just things that you kind of learn with experience. I think it's really important to buy gear based on your needs, not just the fact that you, it, it's nice to have, you know, I just sort of bought stuff. You know, this person said I need a top handle, I'll get a top handle, but most of the time, I don't really like using a top handle. Having this NATO rail system has been so nice because it's just so easy to like take everything off. I hope you got something from that. If you wanna check out the pieces that I listed, they will be in the description down below. Thanks again for watching and I will hopefully see you soon. Take care. Salutations.